Well, today we have a bit of a double whammy. Earlier today, we talked about how there might be, or looks like there is going to be DLC coming for Tears of the Kingdom, according to Nintendo's official website, of course. You know, until Nintendo technically, I guess, announces it, but then is this an announcement? I don't know. Today, though, we need to talk about this new thing. And this new thing is about the Nintendo Switch 2, or whatever Nintendo decides to call a more powerful device you know i doubt it's a pro or anything like that but who really knows and that is because we now have potential information at least a rumor here with some very solid backing that we are going to be getting this new more powerful nintendo device this next generation switch this holiday now now, before I tell you about this, I want to remind you that we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. If we get there by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we will be giving away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom. All right, so there was a post over on 4chan, and I know, boo, 4chan, no, you can't believe them, except when you can, because we have had a number of legit leaks. And this post is very, very strange, but one thing the Pokemon Presents did today was prove this post significantly. Now, a big thing to remember is what the post is going to say at the beginning. Uh, this person does not speak English natively and use some machine translation uh, to get the post out there. He wanted to release it in English because he thought it would reach the most people. Uh, and let's just read what this post says. I am a programmer at a Pokemon outsourcing company. My English is very poor, so I used machine translation to complete the post. The theme of the DLC, and by the way, this post was confirmed to have happened before, well before, day before. We got anything, days before at this point, anything. Like this post came out days ago, long before we had the Pokemon Presents. So it couldn't be faked, all right? Um, and it said, the theme of the post is going to be hidden treasures of Area Zero and the Hexagon. Uh, version 1.2.0 includes dressable clothes as rewards for DLC purchasers. It's going to include uh, Yuronamo and Tetsuna Shasha. Yeah, I don't, I, I can't pronounce that stuff. Uh, these are Paradox Sukuin and Paradox Verizon. Uh, Yuronamo is a water slash dragon and the other one's a grass slash esper type. Again, these are obviously, you know, Words being used from different languages. Uh, a mystery Pokemon game with a green mask. Special terrestrial appearance. And a third legendary Pokemon is a large blue turtle. Now, a lot of this stuff obviously proven to be true. The rest we might not know exactly. But a huge chunk of this post happened in the Pokemon Presents. A mask, like, to the exact description. So, that is why we have some credence with this post. Is that so much of this was right on and anything that isn't right yet could just be in the future because this post never said it was for a Pokemon Presents in the first place. They were just giving information they knew from their time working for the Pokemon company as a programmer who's been outsourced. Lastly, this is the part where we get to talk about the next Nintendo Switch. We are working on a graphics enhancement patch for the new Nintendo Switch models that will be released alongside the DLC 2. So DLC 2 was announced as coming this fall and this winter. That means brand new hardware is arriving this holiday. Now that is, I mean, that that's that's mind blowing. At this point, the only indication we've had of new hardware anytime in the next couple of years was from Nikkei, where Nintendo was working out contracts with manufacturers early this year, and that Nintendo was targeting a second half of 2024, and that made a lot of sense to a lot of people. You know, you, 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 you let Switch ride it out for a year, yada, yada. But then you start thinking, what about this 2023? We had a direct in February that gave us nothing past July. We have Pikmin 4 dropping in July and then nothing. Nintendo also isn't at E3. And in the past, Nintendo would be at E3 because E3 is where you would make new hardware announcements. The thing is, though, none of the companies have been using E3 to make new hardware announcements in a very long time. The Switch was not announced there. Wii U was the last system Nintendo announced at E3, and that was a long time ago. PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo don't do announcements at E3. So if Nintendo has new hardware coming this holiday, it would be weird to be at E3 where they're not revealing said hardware yet, and then talk about what exactly? What, what are they going to talk about in June if there's new hardware coming this holiday? This could also explain the light second half of the year. It's light because Nintendo's going to have a, a couple-month gap after, or a few-month gap, after Pikmin 4. 
because then they're dropping the new hardware, which will launch with new games. So could we still get a mainline Mario game this year? Yeah, because it could be a launch game this holiday for the new system. Now you might go, well, we all thought 2024 because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC goes through the end of the year. Well, the Switch isn't going to just instantly lose support, right? If the if the new thing comes out in November, then what? The final DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe drops in December? It's not like all those old Switch owners don't exist anymore and don't need games and content. So this could all still work. There also could be some cross-gen stuff. Maybe Mario Kart 8 Deluxe ends up being forward compatible because there's backwards compatibility. So you can even use that DLC on the new system, maybe with 4K upscaling. I don't know, but this sounds amazing. And again, we got to give this post credence because it was so right about the DLC and things happening at the Pokemon Company in the Pokemon Presents for, you know, Scarlet and Violet DLC. So I, I'm just sitting back and going... This is crazy. Again, no one was paying attention to this post a few days ago because we get these posts are a dime a dozen, right? We get a bunch of these. I claim to be this. I claim to be that. Here's 4chan. But then every once in a while, we do get something real because one thing that has happened with 4chan is it's completely anonymous. There's no way to track who wrote what. And while that sounds crazy, the benefit is if you are someone that's going to leak information, it's very hard to get busted if you do it through 4chan. And because everything's so skeptical, you know, it might just fly under the radar. Well, this one got picked up. It's no longer flying under the radar. And now we have to pay attention to the possibility of a brand new Switch this holiday. Again, this is something I wasn't even debating as a possibility this year. I thought maybe we'd get some rumors about the system by the end of the year, and that's that. Well, now the rumors we might get are it might be about the damn thing coming out. Now, again, this does not say that it is a brand new next generation system, or it doesn't clarify whether it's a Switch Pro, just that it's more powerful, and they're working on a graphics pack. Maybe that's why we're not getting a patch. Remember when we talked about performance patch? Nintendo sort of promised it. The Pokemon company hasn't delivered it yet. Maybe it's because the game runs just fine on new hardware. That could have been the case. Like, hey, when we drop this on the hardware, we ain't got these issues. I mean, maybe that's the case. We've seen that running it in emulation on more powerful hardware seems to solve a lot of the problems. So maybe that's why the performance patch doesn't exist. Because they want to make it even a bigger starch contrast between Scarlet and Violet on the old gen versus the new gen. Either way, which by the way, I think it's a really crappy reason. Scarlet and Violet, there's nothing visually going on that they shouldn't be able to make run well on Switch. But hey... I'm just excited about this. We're not, I, I'm not even talking about Pokemon anymore. This is about a new generation system coming in 2023. That has me really, really excited. Still going to end up picking up a Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED edition if it comes out, but also might have that. And you know what? If it does happen, you guys know I'm going to try my hardest to get a hold of two of these systems so I can give one away. But we'll talk about that as the year goes on. When Nintendo's going to announce this, I don't know. We'll talk about it more on the podcast. I'll probably talk about it more tonight as well on our live stream. I do think new hardware in you know the second half of this year is possible. I think an announcement in September could make a lot of sense. I know you normally, oh, but why would they? It's a new generation. Why would they want to give more run-up? Maybe they do. Maybe it's in August. Maybe it's in July. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jets, and I'll catch you in the next video.